Hello, today I want to talk about Microsoft Intune. It is a mobile device management platform. Well, I think that uh, the importance of MDM system has become much more higher than it was before the days of COVID-19. Simply because a lot more people now work remotely using a corporate laptop. And if these people don't connect to the corporate network using a VPN, you most likely won't see any activity from their devices in Active Directory. This means that you will not understand whether the device is active or not. And it will be impossible to get the correct security metrics for these devices. So mobile device management is a solution to this problem because it maintains a connection between the laptop and the cloud server. MDM can collect various parameters from hosts. But for me, the most important parameter is the timestamp. I will not describe all the features of Microsoft Intune here simply because at this stage they are not very interesting for me. The task I needed to solve was how to get the timestamp of the last activity for all hosts in Microsoft Intune using the official API. And since this is poorly documented, I want to share it with you. So let's start with authentication. The thing is that Intune API can use the same authentication method that I already described in the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint article. So you need to go to Microsoft Azure and create an application. Then you need to set the permission for this new app. And then it will be possible to make a post request and receive an authentication token. I won't go into details on how to set up an Azure application. Just see the previous article on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. The only difference is that you need to request the Intune Get Data Data Warehouse permission. All the rest is the same. And it's weird because the folks at Microsoft didn't mention in the manual that you can use this for authentication. Just some weird stuff about Open Authentication 2 or Auth2. You might think that Microsoft, one of the most cutting edge tech companies, would have the best guides, but this is not the case, at least for the Intune API. Then the idea is that you use an authentication token in the headers and make requests to get hosts. But you should get a URL that will be unique to your organization. The easiest way to do this is to go to Reports Data Warehouse in the GUI, HTTPS and Point Microsoft Core.
The rest is trivial. You will need to make one request or maybe deal with pagination as I showed in the example below. Also, I list the parameters that you can retrieve using the API. That's all for today. Please subscribe, leave your comments. Bye.